Incomes in MLM can become quite dramatic. We believe that anyone who has reasonable self-confidence, enjoys communicating with small groups of people while sitting at home, is coachable, and has a sincere desire to make a difference in people's lives, can potentially earn $100,000 a month. However, it is important to paint a realistic picture of just how much hard work is involved in achieving financial security and time freedom. Too many distributors fail to tell the truth about the necessary effort. A recent advertisement in USA Today offered the following description of an MLM opportunity. No sales, no inventory, no monthly quotas, no personal or group sales volume requirements, no meetings. Just call phone number to get started. This ad was intentionally misleading. We called the number to check it out and discovered that while no purchases were mandatory, in order to receive full compensation on several levels, substantial sales volumes were required. Here's the question. If a leader is going to advertise in the business section to find other entrepreneurial leaders interested in big money, why imply that no inventory or monthly sales are necessary? That's not only misleading, it's fraud. And we believe the Federal Trade Commission and other regulatory agencies are correct to go after such marketers and companies. They deceive innocent people into believing that MLM, like the lottery, is getting something for nothing. And in case you think most people are smart enough to avoid such preposterous claims, Take a close look at how many men and women bet family food money on a 1 in 10 million chance lottery. Let's examine what is required to earn big incomes. Network marketing income is a direct result of the amount of wholesale products and or services purchased by those individuals in your organization. Since most families only purchase as much as they need and use, a sizable organization is necessary to provide a large income. Lots of people ordering and using a little bit. Huge organizations are developed by individuals who personally recruit large numbers of frontline distributors and, as capable educators, teach them to duplicate their process. Our industry's leading company built a multi-billion dollar global empire, one person at a time, over a four-decade period. In essence, MLM is much more a teaching profession than a sales profession. Those who make it to the pinnacle of any company are usually good communicators in a one-on-one -on -one sense. Being able to deliver a speech to a large crowd is absolutely unnecessary. Duplication is what is critical. It doesn't matter how tremendous we are as individuals, but rather how great we are at teaching others to duplicate our system, as you've already read in many of our stories. But we don't want to create false expectations by waving the oversized checks in front of people without also discussing what it honestly takes to earn them. Understating the hard work and perseverance to achieve great success is the most often utilized strategy by those who create false expectations. Most people will quickly see through the false promises in a very short time and then quit. We are irrevocably convinced that the extremely high attrition rate among first-year distributors stems directly from being bashed by the false expectation tank. In this chapter, we'll take time to address many aspects of this problem, including the one that catches so many newcomers to our industry completely unaware, an unrealistic assessment of how much work is required to earn the huge incomes.